All right, we haven't even really started the video and I'm already finding problems. Well, let me point out the obvious one. I'm, on, I'm sorry, but you need to do something about that intro. It's very poorly done. I know not everybody has the equipment to do decent intros, but you can do a lot more with Windows Movie Maker than you can think. And there's also, the music choice doesn't seem to fit either. But I think the biggest problem here is that it's just another commentary. Look, pal, if you've got a problem with her commentary, make actual retorts to her points. Don't whine about her intro. I know it's fairly common to do. Heck, I've been guilty of it, but it adds nothing and really just looks nitpicky. Just skip it. Oh, wait! But I think the biggest problem here is that it's just another commentary using an anime character. Why don't you do something original for once, please? Coming from the guy who uses the same picture throughout his video, with a background taken from Gravity Falls, and an original character that bears a striking resemblance to Toothless the Dragon, I really wouldn't be talking. Besides, using an anime character doesn't immediately make you unoriginal. Sure, lots of people use anime characters, but you're treating them as if they all use the exact same character. Using an anime character doesn't immediately make your video unoriginal. Doing something that everyone else has done is unoriginal, like a top worst YouTubers list. Ah, oh, YouTube. What an interesting site you are. So many good things have come out of this, yet for every blockbuster critic and cartoon hangover, there's an irate gamer in Smosh cartoons on the opposite spectrum. Well, thank god the irate gamer is in no way a dead topic. What does me mentioning the irate gamer have to do with anything? All I said was is that he's on the opposite spectrum. I'm saying, for every good YouTuber, there's a bad YouTuber. I'm shocked you didn't get that. Yes, but she was pointing out not only that he's very outdated, considering he doesn't even do his AVG and knockoff reviews anymore, but she also pointed out that he's a dead horse. Some would even call you <gasps> UNORIGINAL! No wow! You must be new here because you just did one of the biggest mistakes any YouTuber YouTube commentary can make. You skip through the video. You don't do that. You simply don't. This is a 10 minute video, so why are you skipping around? Because if you skip around, it just shows that you don't want someone to see a certain point, and how can we take your word for it there? That argument could make sense if you used it in proper context. However, in Azu's commentary and your original video, it's perfectly fine to skip over a segment, seeing as how entry 5 and 4 are completely unrelated. It's not a continued argument, per se. If she were to skip over a portion of your argument or edit it in order to make you look stupid, that would be lying. But here's the thing. She did it! What the fuck? Bunk encapsulates everything generic about YouTube vloggers these days. Literally, all he does is report on the most idiotic thing possible. Celebrity gossip. On top of the irrelevant garbage spewing out of his act's mouth, his lispy flamboyant voice is unbearably awful. Really? That's it? You know, what the buck has got to be the most overdone celebrity gossip channel ever, especially when there are other gossip channels that are much more horrible, such as TMZ. You do realize this is my personal opinions in these lists here. Now, I understand, people have talked about what the buck before, and I understand that he's not the worst, but my point is, this, this list is going off of entertainment and merit, which what the buck has none of those things. So. Yes, that's all I really had to say. There's not much really need needing to be said about it. But you just agreed that TMZ was worse than What the Buck. But even then you'd still be talking about something that everybody has talked to death about. What the Buck is on this list due to him not only pandering to the lowest common denominator of the world's population, but he's also god-awfully annoying. Not to aspiring commentators. Don't make a point until the com the person you're commentating on has finished theirs. Sometimes you end up get, um, contradicting yourself, saying, oh, they didn't elaborate as much, and then the next point, they're elaborating. So keep that in mind, fellow commentators. Like what you did a couple seconds ago? Really? That's it? 
You know, what the buck has got to be the most overdone celebrity gossip channel ever, especially when there are other gossip channels that are much more horrible, such as TMZ. I do realize this is my personal opinions in these- But even then you'd still be talking about something that everybody has talked to death about. So, eat it. Weird Al would be ashamed. Joshua A428. Originally this video was going to be um, the top 5 worst commentators, but it turns out they're all gone. Oh really? Then how come we have people like Rhino Mills, Macboy Redux, CS Bob, Ponder Sprocket, Ozamanga Dolphin, Hyrobard, and many others making commentaries then? And notice how none of them have a, have a good fan base either that's dedicated to them. So my point is the commentating community is kind of dead. I'm able to make the videos I can and whatever I want simply because I have people who will watch anything I do because I make entertaining videos. My point is a completely dedicated commentating channel just really isn't possible on YouTube anymore. Not a lot of channels with a strong fan base, huh? Uh, allow me if you don't mind. Akerloft 2510 TOG Professor, Master TB10, Dirtbike Reddin, myself, and many, many others. Just simply because after the whole um, debacle with the whole commentary community versus Blackbuster Critic, that community just, just kind of died off because they tried to defend something that they couldn't really defend. But if you really want to know more about that, just, just watch Blackbuster Critic's commentaries on those commentators. They're quite good. I recommend them. Last I checked, there really was no Blackbuster Critic versus the commentary community. From what I know and have researched, Blackbuster Critic did a few commentaries, most of which were on trolls, and got into a debate with Youngblood Fantasy 91 over him shoving PC Master Rates down people's throats. I guess there was also the Mystery Oven thing as well, but that's all I can really think of. Oh yeah, I guess I sh could have mentioned this earlier, but this whole thing was about TWO YEARS AGO! Now what is so bad about Joshua8428? To put it bluntly, has an annoying voice, of course, and he doesn't know how to take criticism. End of story. M Skull Zero One. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna need a moment here. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, why was that funny? I guess I'll find out in a second, so let's see. Well, the meaning of the burst of laughter was implied, but allow me to explain it to you since context doesn't seem to be your forte. She was laughing because M Skull's been inactive for a long time and is pretty irrelevant now. He has an annoying, lispy, flamboyant voice, he contradicts himself quite badly, and he simply can't make a video without having either of these two factors. One instance of this is when he claimed PM Rants to be a bad person for p putting younger kitty YouTube partners on, num on number one on his list simply because they're kids. Yeah, I think you might be having one of those out of contextual experiences because if you watched M School's video on PM Rants, you would know that he wasn't just upset because PM put kids on the list. He was also upset that PM put kids higher on the list than somebody who was profiting off death and suffering. And there you go again, completely cutting off my points. I already elaborated on why um, M Skull was stupid for doing that. And I elaborated more so on why I didn't like him. You keep cutting off things to make your video four minutes long. It's a six minute video, for goodness sake. I know I said ten before, but that was a mistake. At least I'm able to admit my mistakes, unlike you. But here's what I also noticed. You like to edit it to make it look like I'm saying one thing, but you completely leave out what I say next. And no, I understood what... M Skull was saying. My point is, YouTubers should be judged by their entertainment merit and not whether they do this or do that. Sure, that can be brought in as a factor, but generally, when people make these top, 
top five worst YouTubers lists, they're generally going off of their entertainment value. So that's why I put him number one on the list. You know, if I knew about you earlier, you probably would have ended up somewhere like number six on the list. Just saying. But you can improve. My point is, I'm doing this to show what you did wrong so you can improve your videos. Here's my problem with almost everything you just said. First of all, you made baseless arguments like saying she never admits to her own mistakes, which you have no evidence towards. Second, the part she cut out wasn't too important, to be honest. In fact, keeping it in would have helped her argument. As you say this. I have a little secret for you, M Skull. Being a kid does not, um, in any way, excuse half-ass, subpar attempts at entertainment. End of story. Essentially saying you expect the same high-quality content from a 13-year-old as you would from an adult. Well, those were my top five worst YouTubers. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and be sure to be on the lookout for future videos like this. Hope you all have a good day. Well, folks, now that the video is over, it's time to give my final thoughts. Well, I think the major problem with this video is that he only gives one or two points for each segment, and then he just skips over to the next one. Now, I really wouldn't mind this so much, except for the fact that he barely elaborates on the reason or reasons he gives for each segment in the video. Oh, and speaking of reasons, this list also seems really lazy because pretty much three out of the five entries on the list contain the reason of annoyance. So, basically, most of the entries on the list can be summed up like this. Ugh, this person is so annoying that it just ugs my uggometer. Well, it shows you didn't really pay attention much. I did elaborate on my points, just not as much as you hoped. And annoyance is a valid argument here. Because if I'm annoyed by the person when I'm trying to watch a video, it doesn't make me inclined to continue watching said video. Like I said, this list is judged by entertainment merit. You know what I just realized? You've been repeating the whole entertainment value argument the whole time, and looking back at your list, you never mentioned that it was based on entertainment value. Sure, you said some of them were boring, but you never said they were ranked based on entertainment value. In fact, the only time you've mentioned this was in your response. Well, anyway, that's all I gotta say. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Ozamanga Delphan signing off. And this is uh, Mega Drive Sonic signing off. I have a feeling after this video is up, she's going to be very pissed once she sees this. <laughs> you all have a good day. So your only goal with this video was to annoy Azu. Now I can't tell if you were trolling the whole time or just blurted that out. But it seems like the only thing you did do was make yourself look even worse. And it seems like a lot of people aren't too happy about that. That was the worst cut of How to Train Your Jack in a Box I've ever seen. I have Sonic once again, and today we're going to do something I haven't done in a while on Further Look. We're going to do a commentary. And this time it's actually on someone's commentary on a video I made, actually. It was the top five worst YouTubers list. They this Miss Azamanga Dio Fan 101 does not like it, so uh, let's actually see her criticism and, and let's see if she's valid or not. So, without further ado, let's take a look. Wow, it's been over a month since my last full in commentary? Well, better make a new one then. Alright, we haven't even really started the video and I'm already finding problems. Hmm, how many times have I heard that one? Probably enough to warrant a spot on my bingo card. Oh wait, I forgot, I covered mine in graffiti. Huh. Well, let me point out the obvious one. I'm, on, I'm sorry, but you need to do something about that intro. It's fairly poorly done. I know not everybody has the equipment to do decent intros, but you could do a lot more with Windows Movie Maker than you can think. With Windows Movie Maker? Sorry, but you've lost me. Especially considering that the last remotely useful not iMovie-ish version of Windows Movie Maker went down with Windows XP. And while I have Sony Vegas here, I highly doubt it's coming back. And there's also, the music choice doesn't seem to fit either. But I think the biggest problem here is that it's just another commentary using an anime character. Why don't you do something original for once, please? 
If there's one complaint about commentators that I feel has been over-magnified to ridiculous levels, it'd be the idea that anime avatar equals overdone. To be honest, the only times I've ever seen people drawing attention to the fact that an anime avatar was used was done as a joke. There's such a diverse range of characters in the meme that it's too broad a selection to really consider it overused and a genuine problem and still have your dignity intact. There's a world of difference between someone who uses, say, a Sonic X character as their avatar, and someone who uses, I'm just picking at random here, a Cowboy Bebop character as their avatar. And even with that in mind, you still seem to apply this criticism rather arbitrarily, seeing how you later get on the case of your number one entrance specifically for using a Hitalia character as their avatar. Why? I mean, I'm, I'm not the hugest fan of Hitalia, but does the actual source really matter all that much in the grand scheme of things? But fine, if the mere act of doing something as heinous as repeating oneself with a character of a random or specific Japanese animated series is really so much of a deal breaker for you, blam! Count Dracula. <laughs> David is going to be so confused. Ah, YouTube. What an interesting site you are. So many good things have come out of this, yet for every blockbuster critic and cartoon hangover, there's an irate gamer in Smosh cartoons on the opposite spectrum. Oh, thank God the irate gamer is in no way a dead topic. What does me mentioning the irate gamer have to do with anything? All I said was is that he's on the opposite spectrum. I'm saying, for every good YouTuber, there's a bad YouTuber. I'm shocked you didn't get that. You know what I'm shocked that you didn't get? Play that last line again. What does me mentioning the irate gamer have to do with anything? I think you just spotlighted the problem there with that question. The point that Azu was going for was that Chris Balls is not only an overdone bandwagon, but has actually moved past acting like the subpar ersatz AVGM that he used to be quite some while ago. And even if he hadn't, he was an over-criticised figure even back when he was relevant, since people always, with little to no shreds of irony, acted like he was the worst reviewer ever, all the while guys like NC17 in Retro Gamer 3 snuck around proving how wrong that notion was. No. Wow, you must be new here because you just did one of the biggest mistakes any YouTuber, YouTube commentary can make. You skip through the video. You don't do that. You simply don't. This is a 10 minute video, so why are you skipping around? Azu is a new commentator? Not even close. And wait, that's your idea of a mistake? Even though countless commentators, myself included, have done that in the past, I mean, it's not like Azu found a point of the video rather superfluous to the points she wanted to make and decided to edit it out for the sake of keeping the running time as succinct as possible. In fact, I'm reminded of back when I started making my commentary on Charles Agus, when a certain someone who may or may not have ended up on the number one spot on your list told me, I say told me, he didn't, he whined at me, not to do that since multi-degree commentaries apparently always end up needlessly long and boring because of some arbitrary devotion to formula and conventions that just pull out of his ass with no regard for exceptions. And yet when my commentary went up, and indeed when Master TP's commentary went up, guess what? The total running time in both videos were actually shorter than Miss Char's original video. You know why? Because not everyone has the editing skills and priorities of a brick. So I have to ask, considering that the aforementioned blackbuster critic was criticised heavily for how lengthy and superfluous a lot of his commentaries were, just as long as you're not leaving out any context to what you're showing, why exactly is trimming the fat of your videos a bad thing? In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. What's that? Completely overhaul my skip card? Okay! What the buck? What the buck encapsulates everything generic about YouTube vloggers these days? Literally all he does is report on the most idiotic thing possible. Celebrity gossip. I'm honestly surprised that no one pointed this part out, but I don't really see how celebrity gossip is really the most idiotic thing possible to report on, especially when you consider that PM Rance, a guy who Deacons does reference in this video, brought up what the Will of DC used to do, which was pretty much what the Bucks shtick, but with a far, far lesser form of celebrity. I mean, I guess you could argue that What the Buck is a more egregious case of that kind of reporting, seeing how Will of DC stopped uploading over two years ago, but I don't know, it still bothers me. On top of the irrelevant garbage spewing out of this act's mouth, his lispy flamboyant voice is unbearably awful. Really? That's it? You know, what the buck has got to be the most overdone celebrity gossip channel ever, especially when there are other gossip channels that are much more horrible such as TMZ. You do realize this is my personal opinions in these lists here. 
Uh, yeah. I, I mean, it, it doesn't mean the information backing it up can't be questioned, but, yeah. This, this list is going off of entertainment and merit, which What the Buck has none of those things. So, yes, that's all I really had to say. There's not much really need, needing to be said about it. So I don't understand why you're angry there. I think it might lie in the fact that I still don't see what separates What the Buck from gossip shows like TMZ in your eyes. Oh, hang on a minute, What the Buck isn't a mainstream TV personality, ergo he can't be judged by the same standard. That's the closest I can fathom, really. But even then you'd still be talking about something that everybody has talked to death about. What the Buck is on this list due to him not only pandering to the lowest common denominator of the world's population, but he's also god-awfully annoying. Note to aspiring commentators, don't make a point until the, the person you're commentating on has finished theirs. Oh, you know what? You're totally right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally right. I absolutely hate it when the top-level commentator in a multi-degree interjects in the middle of someone else's interjection. Especially when there are other gossip channels that are much more horrible, such as TMZ. But even then you'd still be talking about something that everybody has talked to death about. Don't you just hate when that happens? Sometimes you end up um, contradicting yourself, saying, oh, they didn't elaborate as much, and then the next point, they're elaborating. So keep that in mind fellow commentators. Aww, oh, how cute! He thinks he's an influential figure in this medium! Number three! Helter Skelter Rants. Yeah, I hate to inform you, but there hasn't been a new Helter Skelter rant in over a year. And also, why did you put it on the list if it's not even a real YouTube channel? I put them on the list because this this particular group of people were, to put it bluntly, not entertaining. So that's why I put them there. And I am aware that they haven't made a video in over a year. But that doesn't change the fact that they made my list. So, eat it. Om nom 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 nom. Also, you do realize that this problem carries over from your earlier name dropping of Chris Bors. You devoted an entire number on your list towards a series, not a YouTuber, that you know has been inactive for the longest time. So, is this a top whatever worst YouTubers list, or a top whatever worst YouTube shows list? Because since your number three indicates a hint of the latter, what's stopping, say, Neko Sugar Girls from winding up on the list? The point I'm getting at here is, you do realize that you haven't proven Azu wrong, right? Number two. Joshua A428. Originally, this video was going to be um, the top five worst commentators, but it turns out they're all gone. Points taken off for using the wrong form of there in that caption. Oh, really? Then how come we have people like Rhino Mills, MacBoy Redux, CS Bob, Ponder Sprocket, Ozamanga Dolphin, Hyrobard, and many others making commentaries then? And notice how none of them have a, have a good fan base either that's dedicated to them. So my point is, the commentating community is kind of dead. <sighs> this shit again! We're honestly going the same off-traveled route of I think the commentary community is dead because everyone I used to like in it stopped making videos. Well, I'm sorry, but even ignoring the fact that TOG and Youngblood haven't actually completely stopped us at this recording, that's a poor way of defining the term dead in this context. And to be blunt, this elaboration here just seems like a weak attempt at covering your ass with excuses, seeing how your original video didn't give any indication of meaning that. Your video's point was built on the premise that they're all gone, and Azu responded accordingly, without mentioning me, incidentally, but, yeah. If your point just now, in fact, was the intended meaning all along, I hate to burst your metaphorical bubble here, but if that was the case, then it's not really Azu's fault that she missed it. I'm able to make the videos I can and whatever I want simply because I have people who will watch anything I do because I make entertaining videos. My point is a completely dedicated commentating channel just really isn't possible on YouTube anymore. And I'm not sure there ever was a dedicated commentary channel. Like, really, I I'm racking my brain through all the previous definitive iconic commentators, and they have done more than just commentaries. In fact, lo lo looking at a lot of the commentators active right now, myself included, the variety of content on their channels is actually more than it was with the content of those aforementioned commentators. So really, what's the problem? Number 
I'm Skull Zero One. <laughs> Um, okay, why was that funny? <laughs> Gee, I don't know. It sure can't be because at the time of your original video, M Skull pretty much fell out of relevance as a commentator and an internet personality. Well, the fact that you later focused on the whole PM rants thing doesn't exactly help in that regard, but I'll get to that in a moment. He has an annoying, lispy, flamboyant voice, he contradicts himself quite badly, and he simply can't make a video without having either of these two factors. One instance of this is when he claimed PM Rants to be a bad person for p putting younger kitty YouTube partners on, num on number one on his list simply because they're kids. I don't know why Azu didn't point this out, but yeah, no time like a present. That's not a contradiction! Anyway, continue. Yeah, I think you might be having one of those out of contextual experiences because if you watched M Skull's video on PM rants, you would know that he wasn't just upset because PM put kids on the list. He was also upset that PM put kids higher on the list than somebody who was profiting off death and suffering. And there you go again, completely cutting off my points. I already elaborated on why um, M Skull was stupid for doing that. And I elaborated more so on why I didn't like him. You keep cutting off things to make your video four minutes long. It's a six minute video for goodness sake. I know I said ten before, but that was a mistake. Ah, barely scripted videos. How I have missed thee. At least I'm able to admit my mistakes, unlike you. Good for you, but aside from the fact that you baselessly accused Azu of being unable to admit to her mistakes, as I've said before regarding people like Consider Me Guru, acknowledging the presence of a problem is not the same as rectifying a problem. By that logic, that would make the Portal references in Splosion Man the height of gaming comedy just because there's an achievement in the game called Not a Portal Reference. <laughs> Consider Me Guru, now there's an old reference for you. Am I cool yet, kids? But. Here's what I also noticed. You like to edit it to make it look like I'm saying one thing, but you completely leave out what I say next. By any chance, are you referring to this part? I, I, I have a little secret for you, M-Skull. Being a kid does not, um, in any way, excuse half-ass, subpar attempts at entertainment. End of story. Because I don't know if you've kept up with the commentary community's changing stance on the fan-made music video community, but yes, their age is an excuse for what they produce and how they act. Indeed, as M Skull said in that very same video you're complaining about, kids eventually do grow up and learn from their mistakes, meaning that their flaws are merely temporary and not the downfall of society, as PM Rance put it. If you ask me, this part of the list is the biggest justification I have for Azu laughing her panties off at this part of the list. As I've said in a comment on Azu's original video, of all the reasons to criticize M Skull, whether or not they're among the many reasons that don't put the words social, warrior, and misandry in the same paragraph, you really had to miss every great opportunity and go the overdone route of, I'm so mad that Eli went after PM Rance because PM Rance is someone I really like, and make yourself look like yet another one of the ass hurt fanboys that swamped Eli's video. I mean, no, Phil's video was not the worst video in existence, but I get the impression that you only included Eli on the list because of how he acted to that video alone. And even keeping in mind some of the bullshit that Eli would go on to pull in the months after your top worst list went up, that's just sad. And no, I understood what M Skull was saying. My point is, YouTubers should be judged by their entertainment merit and not whether they do this or do that. Sure, that can be brought in as a factor, but generally, when people make these top top five worst YouTubers lists, they're generally going off of their entertainment value. So that's why I put him number one on the list. You know, if I knew about you earlier, you probably would have ended up somewhere like number six on the list. Just saying. When in doubt, lash out at your detractors by pulling the ultimate totally original and unpredictable insult, telling them that they should be on the worst of list. Oh no! The fight's out! I'm about to punch your life! Oh, and by the way, thanks for dropping every pretense of this list being about entertainment value and revealing it to be more about getting back at people you don't like while jumping on outdated bandwagons. Great to know how much you value your own sense of entertainment value. But you can improve. My point is, I'm doing this to show what you did wrong so you can improve your videos. 
okay? Well, at least you're not using the word constructive in that sentence. And speaking of which, it's rather ironic that you should demonize Joshua 8428 of all people, even though back in Joshua's heyday, Joshua adopted that exact same philosophy of commentaries meant to criticize for improvement, with entertainment value as a secondary goal, and not something sensible like, oh, I don't know, the other way round. I mean, not that that's the biggest problem with you putting Joshua on your list, especially since Joshua has become a lot more willing to change for the better if the experiences of Realm Wars are anything to go by, but it's still there, and it's still bugging me. Well, folks, now that the video is over, it's time to give my final thoughts. Well, I think the major problem with this video is that he only gives one or two points for each segment, and then he just skips over to the next one. Now, I really wouldn't mind this so much, except for the fact that he barely elaborates on the reason or reasons he gives for each segment in the video. Oh, and speaking of reasons, this list also seems really lazy because pretty much three out of the five entries on the list contain the reason of annoyance. So, basically, most of the entries on the list can be summed up like this. Ugh, this person is so annoying that it just ugs my uggometer. Well, it shows you didn't really pay attention much. I did elaborate on my points, just not as much as you hoped. Not as much as you'd hoped? You say that as if that's somehow a benefit to you or anyone watching. When I'm trying to watch a video, it doesn't make me inclined to continue watching said video. Like I said, this list is judged by entertainment merit. So, in other words... Yeah, and the sky is still blue, the grass is still green, and Napoleon Dynamite is still uneventful. What else has remained unaltered? Well, anyway, that's all I gotta say. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Ozamanga Delphan signing off. And this is uh, Mega Drive Sonic signing off. I have a feeling after this video is up, she's going to be very pissed once she sees this. I highly doubt Azu was of the legal age to be drinking, but if she was, I suspect she would be pretty pissed after consuming all the alcohol required to watch this. Insert jab at my expense for getting on Coffee Lover's case for alcohol references. Aki is hypocrite! <laughs> you all have a good day. That was the least terrifying attempt at an evil laugh I've heard in my entire life. Suffice to say, Salacious Crumb has a more intimidating laugh than you. Ha 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 ha!